Hi, I'm Jeremy Lauren, and this is Meet the Ivers Show. In today's show, we'll be talking about sportsmanship with Jared Bailey. Also, we'll be going to Dalton, who will be interviewing Jeremy Bowling with the Operation Santa. Then we'll be sending it out to Adam, our school monitor, to show how dangerous it could be in the line of duty. All right, so now we can just try to just stop the recording. No, we're not going to reset. No, sit. yes, we will, because we can edit everything that we messed up out. We can cut it. Okay, but I think we should go a run through one more time of everything. We have we're time. trying to get this. Done. Just keep going. Just keep going. Say, oh, Sam is. Also, we have uh, another. Oh God, how should I start it? Should I say Ann? So I can go Ann from Dalton. You know, I say Donald Dalton, I go with the Santa, Operation Santa happening. Or I don't know why I said happening, so edit that. Just like, just now we're going Ann. And also later on in the show, we'll be going to Dalton Jones, who's going to be talking about the Operation oh, Santa. I'm going to do the Santa after you. I'm going to keep okay. talking. And also later in the show, we're going to go into Sam with the sports on to oh, okay. Also, we're going to go to Sam with the Sherrard sports. <laughs> okay, just go again. Go again. Seriously, because we got to get this like done. The whole thing again? No, just your part. Like, just say, and, and Sam will be doing the same thing. And Sam will be talking about sports with Adam Barber and Jesse B. You guys just told me to keep filming, so I'm just going to keep filming. I know. Who else is Sam interviewing? Okay, just go. Come on now. And Sam. And... Hello, Sherard. I'm Jared Bailey. Today, we have a very touchy topic, sportsmanship. Do we have it? Do we not? Let's take a look at bad sportsmanship. Now, after seeing such a disgusting act, let's take a look at how someone should act. Now, in my opinion, that is much better. That is how I like to see the game played every time. Congratulations to uh, both players, each in their individual rights, did the right thing. I'm proud. Well, Sherrard, I hope you could learn from this PSA and may everyone play a safe and smart game. Just on my way into work today, I got a call about an 853. An 853 is a code word we have for roamers in the hallway. Nothing serious yet, but it, it could get interesting if they try to run. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long That even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying to chalk I really hate the trip, but I gotta lope as they croak, I see myself in the pistol smoke, fool. I'm the kind of G the little homies want to be like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light. Here are those incident reports from yesterday. Thank you. Hey, did you hear about the 853 from yesterday? Yes, sir. Can you go get that cleaned up? Yes, sir. Thank you. 
being a hall monitor is pretty cool. I mean, you get out of class, obviously. Um, I get discounted lunches, which is pretty cool. Um, and I get to work with kids every day. So, I mean, it's a great life. But, you know, my overall goal is to protect the students. And, um, yeah, I just, I care for them. It's not all about me, you know? What you doing here? Shouldn't you be in class? Oh, I'm just getting the calculator. Uh, so can I see this calculator? And over the phone. No. Hand it over. No. This is your last chance. Hand over the phone. Thank you. But unfortunately for you, I will still see you after school because of this 30 minute detention. Well, looks like this case has been phoned in. Typical day here, you know. Um, not too much going on, but is that. It's all right. So we had a pretty good day, but um, you know it didn't always wait. Um, hold on. Come on. We got, we, we got to go nine. Go nine. <laughs> hey, you know vandalism's wrong even after school's out. I don't care. Oh. You're not going to get away with this. Watch me. Back up, back up. Hall monitor down. Ha! Ah, thanks again, Officer Bailey. Save the day once again. Anytime, Sergeant Barber. So, um, uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I mean, uh, pretty routine day here at the office. Um, not too exciting, too exciting happen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go home um, and enjoy time with my family. You know, you have a good night. I'm Sam Kistner with the sports. It is the ending of the fall sports, which there was a lot of impressive things that happened. Starting off, we're going to talk about the football season. Even though it went 0-9, they were very impressive and they fought very hard. Now we're going to hear more about that with Adam Barber. Uh, hello, I'm Sam Kistner. I'm with Adam Barber, wrapping up the football season from this year. Even though the season didn't go the way you wanted it to, is there any positives to take out of the season? Well, absolutely. I mean, I think we get the uh, momentum of the program uh, changed around, and I think that we um, instilled some uh, good qualities, and um, we should, it should be good going forward. Uh, do you have anything to say to the next year's team? Um, I said keep grinding, um, just keep putting in work, and um, turn this program around. Did you at least have fun this year, though? Oh, absolutely. I mean, how can you not have fun your senior year? I mean... He's injured most of it, but coming back that last game was pretty fun. Would you like to come back in future seasons to see how much they've grown and see like their progress? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I plan on coming back at least the um, uh, first game, the last game, and homecoming. So, I mean, that's at least three of you guys' nine games. So, should be back regularly. I appreciate it, Adam. Next, we talk about the impressive golf season, where they have three people ranked at the conference meet, Nikki Schmidt got third at the sectional meet and ended up getting seventh at state. Now we're talking about the volleyball season, which wasn't the greatest, but they never gave up and they're still working hard. The cross country team is growing and getting better every single year and they keep fighting. Finishing off the fall sports will be the soccer team. They haven't had the greatest year that they've had in the past, but they're still fighting hard and they're still improving a lot. Hello, I'm Sam Kistner with the sports. And coming up this season is the winter sports and we're going to dive into the fun of wrestling and basketball. First, we're going to take a look into the very successful wrestling program 
they'll have a chance of getting multiple people down the state with the returning state qualifier in Jared Bailey. Now we'll dive into the girls basketball program who is also very successful. They have they just came off an impressive season making it to super sectionals and they're trying to make their way back into the state tournament. Finally we will be looking forward to the boys basketball who are trying to improve with the new coach Mr. Hutton. He's coming from Mercer County and he's been a teacher here for a while so I feel like this would be an interesting Well, thank you, Pashar, for watching our latest installment of Meet the Iversons. I'm Steele Gustafson, and I'm Jeremy Bowen. See you later. Well, thank you, Pashar, for watching our latest installment of Meet the Iversons. I'm Steele Gustafson, and I'm Jeremy Bowen. See you later.